It hasn't been the easiest season on the court for the Pandora Gilboa boys basketball team, but Andy tells us that each night Dustin Riemann takes the varsity floor for the Rockets, and that means it's a moment to celebrate. You just got to find joy in every moment, and you just got to be positive. You just got to have a positive attitude no matter what's going on. That's a great outlook from any high school student, but even more amazing when you consider all Dustin Riemann has been through. When I was uh, three years old, actually, I was uh, in a lawnmower accident. Uh, I was coming around like uh, one side of the house, and then the lawnmower was on the other side of the house, and I guess I just kind of slipped, slipped up under, you know what I mean? I was went to the hospital, and then I was uh, life flighted to Toledo, where they amputated my right foot. I remember some of the details, but not all of it, yeah. I coached at Fort Jennings the last couple years, and I uh, coached him when he played JV, when I was a JV coach, and at the time, it kind of looks like a tattoo. You don't even, the way he plays, he doesn't let him hinder, it doesn't let him hinder what he does on the court. He's probably one of our quicker kids. He's very elusive. Um, you notice it every once in a while, but he never makes excuses about it. Um, he never complains about it if we're running sprints or if we're you know, going up and down a bunch. He never has to sit out because of it. So he really doesn't let him stop, doesn't let it stop him from what he's doing. And he just kind of keeps playing and never uses it as an excuse, which is pretty Pretty impressive, pretty incredible, actually. It's really fun playing basketball and, uh, uh, you know, just showing people that this is, uh, like, I'm not going to let anything stop me, you know what I mean? Be an inspiration to people. And Riemann's faith has not only sustained him throughout tough times, but has also defined who he is. I just know that God put me in this situation for a reason, to show people that uh, you can't let, like, obstacles in your life hold you back, and you can't let those obstacles define who you are. It's how you overcome those obstacles. That's how, that's what's going to define you. So it, I mean, I just take it as an opportunity to show people about my faith and show them that nothing's going to, nothing, nothing can hold you back. You know what I mean?